morning, my name is Jason Klein. I'm an Icon salesman with the Rosenbauer RTX electric truck in Loveland doing some demos today. Behind us you'll see Rosenbauer's uh, revolutionary RTX electric fire truck with 500 gallons of water, 1500 GPM pump, all wheel drive, all wheel steer, and the options go on and on. It has four ride heights. As you'll see right here, we're currently in the highest ride height, what we call water fording. It's 19 inches off of the ground in the bottom and we can lower it down to as low as 10 inches step height into the back compartment or back cab area there. It runs fully on battery operations. It does have a diesel backup uh, power saver that when the batteries drop to 25%, it will charge back up to 80% and you can continue to operate. You never really have to plug it in. The generator itself will run and charge the batteries and keep it fully charged so that you can operate all the time. In this compartment, you'll find our generator system. We have the capability to run 110 uh, outlets in here through this system. We just engage it and the truck, while producing its power, um, can also produce the right voltage and wattage to run other outlets, power cords, extension cords, whatever you want to have. Coming to the back of the truck here, you can see that we have a booster reel in here. This has 150 feet of inch hose on it. This is key in the pump and roll capabilities of this truck. As I said, it works very well on the urban interface. You can drive around and use the 500 gallons that are in it to help put the fire out. Um, it does run on the Rosenbauer pump, which is a high pressure and a normal pressure pump. So you'll be putting out around 300 to 400 PSI while just pumping and rolling with this truck. The cool thing about the pump on this truck is it's separate from the drivetrain. So the pump has an electric motor that spins the pump to produce 1500 GPM. So no matter if it's running at a higher RPM, the truck is still running at a standard RPM however fast you push the gas pedal through the electric system on it. Also on the back, you'll see that we have all our intakes are on the back of here. So you have two six inch intakes and two uh, two and a half inch intakes that help feed the truck to the or water to the pump, as well as fill the tanks and keep the tanks full as you're working through an operation. Uh, one of the other features that you'll notice on the RTX truck is we have a programmable signboard on the top. Currently it says icon fire. We can change that to be a left arrow, right arrow, uh, flash out, flash in or whatever verbiage that you want to be up there, ice, accident ahead, and stuff like that. I think that's a cool feature. So we're now on the driver's side of the truck. And what you'll find here is, again, we've, we've maximized our storage space uh, by using totes, mounts, and everything, custom mounts for nozzles, to, uh, to make sure that every inch of space is used within the truck. You'll also find in this compartment, this is the pump panel. So this is what operates the pump fully. Uh, it's all touch button and it is all programmable to whatever you want. Uh, cool. Another cool feature on this truck is it has an automatic fill. If you hook it to a hydrant and you want to keep your water tank full, all you can do is say auto fill and it will fill the tank to 80% and then stop. That way you can walk away and you're not concerned about dumping water on the ground. At 80% full, it will automatically stop and then as you pump more water out and it drops down to 50%, it starts to fill back up and keeps filling up. You'll also see that we have discharges on this side um, as well as the other side. And those discharges can be plumbed water or foam. Uh, we use a separate injection point at each discharge that you want to be foam. Uh, we, we use a, a Rosenbauer specific foam system that does that. And again, this truck has a 20 gallon foam system on it. All right, so we're gonna enter the cab here. And one of the things I wanted to point out while entering the cab is when we were on the front of the truck, you saw that I was in water fording mode, which is 19 inches off the ground. We've now dropped it down to the on scene mode is what we call it, which gives us a, a 10 inch step height. So that us as firefighters are not having to lift our legs up and work on getting in. We can literally just walk in the cab with ease and ergonomics and not tweak our backs and hurt our knees and stuff like that. This feature helps the longevity of our firefighters and helps it decrease the injuries that may potentially occur. Let's step inside. All right, we're inside now. You can see that we currently have a configuration of seating for up to six. Um, we do have options for action towers such as this. And again, we can maximize the storage and compartmentation with Rosenbauer specific trays. You'll see on the back wall, we have an EMS compartment um, that we can configure and charge uh, life packs, AEDs, med gear, and all that. 
we have two lower seats in the back that are forward facing, two side facing seats on the inside, and then a driver and officer seat. The cool thing about this cab is it is actually running right now. So what you're seeing is the volume and decibels that you're gonna get while we're in here talking. So if I were to have a meeting in here or have a briefing or have an incident command post in here, this is what you get. This is all the louder you have to talk. You don't have a diesel engine running and you can set up the space like this to have plenty of people in here to have that meeting. This right now I'm in, our, our chairs are turned in. The driver and officer seat both will turn back to the normal position, which would be operating position. And then we would go down and drive. Um, some other features in here, we use LED soft blue lighting when the brakes are set. We have a function to turn the white lights on if you need more light. Uh, we have a skylight if you want to open some, uh, get some fresh air in here. There's optional two AC units, so we have a front AC unit and a back AC unit for those heat, those really hot days that you want to cool it down. You can uh, have those as options there. Right here you have our main control screen. This is going to tell you everything about the truck that you see. So right now we're in the information page. So right, I'm currently at 83% on my battery. I do have a diesel system on here that charges the batteries up and then I'm, I'm full of fuel on both of those and DEF. What the system does is when it gets to 20%, the range extender kicks in and charges the batteries back up to 80% and then we can operate again. This morning we pulled in here and we are at 70%. We dropped to 40% with driving around and pumping. I turned it on and charged it and it charged it back up to 82% in about 15 minutes. So that's the efficiencies that we have and we probably burned maybe half a gallon of diesel, so nothing big. The other features that are on the screen, you can see that I have 416 gallons of water in my tank. I can run the pumps from here. I can turn on all my emergency lights, um, open the tank to pump, open the tank fill, and ensure that your pump is running all while we're doing some firefighting. We also have the capabilities to open the booster reel discharge so that we can uh, run the pump and, and do pump and roll operations. As a, uh, you can see across the bottom are all kinds of apps that we can control the screens on the back. For instance, here's a list of the uh, pre-built warnings that would go on the screen that we talked about in the back. Here's an option to turn all your scene lights on and it gives us a display when they're on and when they're off. Some of the other features are, here's your um, HVAC control. You can change the light color. You can tell the densities of it and you can move all that stuff around. This is also where we can start manually start the battery saver or the battery charger in the back, the range extender. We can also engage our front differential, rear differential. We can put it in all wheel steer or crab mode. So this truck has the feature of all wheel steer, which means that both wheels, the front and the back will turn in a manner that you can make your turning radius much shorter. Uh, we have the capability to turn very well within a cul-de-sac in very tight locations. It also has a crab walk feature which makes both wheels turn in the same direction and will allow you to kind of ease yourself over into a lane or par parallel park a truck. Some of the things that you'll see up above, we have a camera that's looking down on the front bumper so that you can see what's going on on the front bumper if you're swinging something close. As well as we have digital mirrors, which is an option to have either digital mirrors or normal standard bus mirrors. Um, it's, it's an option that you can do both of them at the same time. We also have a 360 degree camera that's showing all around the truck. And if somebody's in the back or the side in a corner that would normally be a bind spot, you'll be able to see them within the 360 degree camera. All right, thanks guys for taking a look at the uh, walk around of the RTX Rosenbauer electric truck. We'll be touring around Colorado for the next two weeks, so feel free to reach out to us at any point and line up a time we'll be there. We'll be in Denver, Aspen, Breckenridge, uh, Frisco, South Adams, South Metro. So we'll be all over. If you would uh, like to see it, please let us know and we'll get it to where we can see you. Thank you guys again. Have a great day.